Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome back to the second episode of What's the Buzz. I'm Ariana Bernard, here with my co-host, Kevin Sankowitz. Thanks for joining us again now. Let's take a look at some of this week's buzz. Election Day is almost upon us, and a growing number of celebrities, from LeBron James to Hulk Hogan to Miley Cyrus, are making their voices heard to encourage participation in this high-stakes election. That's right, and some can't stop the feeling they have for taking selfies, even breaking the law to do so. Yeah, Justin Timberlake sort of embarrassed himself this week after posting on Instagram a good-natured note encouraging people to vote. He told people that voting is so important that he even flew back to his native Tennessee to do so. There was one problem, though. He posted a selfie of himself in the voting booth. Which, as you and Justin both likely didn't know, is illegal in 20 states plus the District of Columbia. But Kevin, do you think Justin will face any repercussions for this? No, it's unlikely he'll face any charges, um, but the max penalty would have been 30 days in jail or a hefty fine of $50. However, Justin did comment on this controversial selfie on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Take a look. Get out and vote. No, but... Uh... You're damn straight. <laughs> don't don't take a picture of yourself in there. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea either. I learned I learned a little. I, was I think like, we all learned. I was a like, this stuff. is gonna be great. <laughs> and inspire, inspire people, people to vote. Get out there. It's like everybody's nope, like, mm -hmm. you're in love. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're rebellious and aren't planning on heeding Justin's advice, know that the law is unclear in Ohio. It is illegal to take a photo with the intention of showing how you're going to vote, but that's all it really says. So I guess the moral of the story here is take your selfies after you leave the voting booth. Or just put a Snapchat filter over top the actual ballot. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on the topic of law breaking, Kylie Jenner has found herself in a bit of a pickle with fraudulent sites selling her lip kits. Which means after I leave the set here, I need to go check if mine are real or not. <laughs> Same. But don't worry, Kevin. Kylie has addressed her followers via Snapchat, warning them to be careful of where they are purchasing her products from, which is strictly KylieCosmetics.com. But there was something else she was warning customers about. That's right. Allegedly, claims were being made that the fake products contain dangerous ingredients like gasoline and glue. Ugh. Wait, the purpose of lipstick is not to make their lipstick together like glue? No, or not. Or catch them on fire. <laughs> Well, apparently one customer also didn't think so when this happened to her after using one of the fake kits. Take a look here. Ugh. That's disgusting. Gross. And if you find yourself coming across some issues like this with fake Kylie Jenner lip kits and you want to record it and show it off, you can no longer do that using Vine. Yes, that's right. It's a somber day here. RIP to Vine. The site and app will still be running for the next few weeks, but Twitter, which owns Vine, will soon be shutting it down. There was no explanation for this decision, however, Twitter did lay off 9% of its staff. But in order to show our appreciation to Vine throughout the past couple of years, here's a tribute to some of the most memorable Vines there have been. I'd like to leave you with this thought. Just think about it. Newspapers outlived Vine. <laughs> That's all we have for you on this week's What's the Buzz. Feel free to tweet at Kevin and myself any stories you would like us to discuss on the show. Thanks for watching and have a great Halloween weekend. Trick or treat. <laughs> <laughs>